Okay, so for problem five, we'll be looking at two proportions and seeing if there's differences. So the question is, while our husband spent two and a half hours picking out new speakers, a statistician decided to determine whether the percent of men who enjoyed shopping for electronic equipment is higher than the percent of women who enjoy shopping for electronic equipment. The population was Saturday afternoon shoppers. Out of 65 men, 25 said they enjoyed the activity. Eight of the 23 women surveyed uh, claimed to enjoy the activity. Interpret the results of the survey. Conduct a hypothesis test at 5% level. This uh, subscription men at M is at men and W is women. So she's saying that um, men enjoy shopping for electronic equipment more is higher than women. So again, this is the alternative hypothesis. You know, men like it better than women, more than women. So our alternative hypothesis must show that the probability for men is higher than the probability for women. Okay, that's this one here. So therefore, the null must be everything else. If this is greater than, the null must be less than or equal to. And that's why this is the answer. So next, what does it mean to be able to subtract them? Well, um, the proportions. We can subtract them and see if the difference is zero. All right, that's what we're looking to see. So because the, we're looking to see if the difference is zero, all right, and these are proportions, it's normally distributed. The mean, uh, the proportion point is going to be zero. And to calculate this, here, the, the standard deviation that they use for the distribution, we need to use this formula here. Okay, this square root of the combined probability times 1 minus the combined probability, so p of c times 1 minus p of c times the quantity of 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 2 where p of c is equal to n plus 1 plus n plus 2, the number of successes divided by the total number of things that were surveyed, x1 plus x2. Okay, and I'll bring this back up again as the um, uh, um, thumbnail so you can see it again later. All right, so to do that, and I'll also put it right here, so we'll, we'll during post-production. So to calculate those things, we need to find, well, P of C. So P of C is equal to the total number of successes. So 25 men and 8 women. 25 plus 8. And I want to put that in parentheses. 25 plus 8 divided by. And then we have... The fem how many total people there were? 65 plus 23. Okay, this is the combined probability, 0.375. Okay, so I'm going to need that, and I'm going to have to find this value here. I'm going to have the square root of point. 375, close parentheses, times 1 minus 0.375, close parentheses, open parentheses, 1 over 65 plus 1 over 23. Okay, and that's going to give me this value here. So as we look and see, we have P of C times 1 minus P of C. And it's not letting me show the whole thing. Times 1 over N plus 1 plus 1 over N plus 2. Okay, that gives us our basically standard error of the mean. Okay, standard error of the proportion. All right, that's how we calculate that. And like I said, I'm going to put that for that formula again right here. 
and we'll never need to use it again. Good point. All right. So now to find the test statistic, we're going to go to stats, tests. And because this is a proportion, we're doing the two proportion Z test. All right. We have to put in our number of successes. So men are going first. 25 out of 65. And the number of females. 8 out of 23. Our <coughs> excuse me. Our alternative is greater than, so we need to make sure it says greater than, and then go to calculate. That gives us our z score right here. And they only want two, uh, three decimal places, so that's very strange. So, point three one three. And this is a Z test. Go back down to five. I don't know why they rounded it to two when they said they wanted three. So it seems strange. Right, come on, bring it back down to five. I knew I should have done that. Five. Okay. What is the p-value? Our p-value is right here, 0 0.37705, which rounds up to 3771. And what does it mean? It's the probability of getting... Our value, which was 0.375, I'm not quite sure how they got the 3.60368, oh, nope, no idea. Oh, they subtracted the two of them, that's what it is. The difference between these two things is 0 0.0368, so it's the probability of getting the difference if the null hypothesis is true, okay? So, if I subtracted these two things, I would get this point three zero three six eight, and so the probability of finding that if H zero is true, okay. What sketch a picture? Well, again, we have our null hypothesis is greater than, so less than, not equal to. Nothing, the only one that's greater than, so it has to be the answer. And then our alpha is 0 0.05, so we plug that in. Our p-value was 0 0.3771. Because p-value is greater than alpha, we don't reject, therefore we don't reject. And there is not sufficient evidence to show that there is a difference between the probabilities of men and probabilities of women liking um, uh, shopping for electronics. So th we can't prove this. And lastly, uh, why did we use um, the test we did? Well, we used because it is proportions. All the rest of them are for means. So this is the only one we have for proportions. So we have to use this test. All right. And problem six is just like problem four. So I'm not going to show it to you. You can just rewatch the video for problem four. And that's it. Um, hopefully I will see you uh, in class so we can do chapter 12. Um, if not, I'll do it just like we did with this one. All right. Good luck.